Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be unboxing my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of February. But if you're unfamiliar with Ipsy, they are going to be a beauty subscription service, but they are undergoing some changes. So in case you have not heard, Ipsy and BoxyCharm are going to be merging together. So starting for the month of April, they are going to have a lot of changes to their subscription. The bag that I currently have is one of Ipsy's subscriptions, but after March, this subscription will no longer be available. But it is the Ipsy Plus. It retails for $28 a month, plus a $1.99 handling fee. And for that price, you do get five full-size items, three of which you were able to customize, plus a drawstring makeup bag. So I will have all the current information for Ipsy down below. And then I probably will switch over to the BoxyCharm Ipsy breakdown for my March box. But if you love subscription boxes like I do, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But otherwise, we're going to go ahead and dive into this bag. So first things first, here is what the bag looks like for February. So it is this pink and red and white kind of design. On it, it does say self-love is the best love. And then it does have some brown little drawstring tabs there. It is just the same print on the other side, but without the words. And then you are going to have a little card in your box. So the theme is you are loved for February. Does not have any information listed just because the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is so customizable, but it does have some affirmations. And then on the back it says something major is coming, which by the time when this video is posted, the information has already been revealed. But I am going to go ahead and start the two items that Ipsy chose for me first. So first up, they chose something for me from Saturday Skin. This is going to be the Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. It's a little bit hard to see packaging wise on the camera, but this is essentially going to be a moisturizer. So here is what it looks like. I will say they do have very nice light baby pink packaging, but it says dive into hydration. Alaska Glacier Water Envelope Skin with Refreshing Moisture. Hydrating Iceland Moss Extract helps to soothe dry skin while revealing radiance. And this is 1.69 fluid ounces. I will say I have received this before. I know 100% I have gotten this in a boxy charm. I thought I got this already in an Ipsy, but since I'm getting it now, I'm assuming it must have been from another subscription. I use this product. I will be honest, I feel like it is geared more towards dry skin, which I have oily skin. So I do only use a very little bit and it seems to do okay for my skin. But I think this is something you would definitely enjoy more if you do have dry skin. Moving right along, the next item they chose for me is going to be from First Aid Beauty. It's their Fab Pharma Calamine Pore Purging Mask. That is definitely a lot to say in one sentence. This is going to purify and smooth your skin. It's safe for sensitive skin. It is 2.5 fluid ounces. Here's what it looks like. Very nice packaging, very similar to the box. But this is going to help combat visible pores, excess oil, and impurities. It's dermatologist tested with no artificial fragrance. So it's like a vacuum for your skin. This detoxifying mask purges pores of dirt, oil, and impurities. So this will help your pores look tighter and skin feel baby soft and detoxified after use. This does also help to control your oil, which I feel like just based off of the two products that Ipsy chose for me, this one is definitely geared more towards dry skin. This one is definitely geared towards oily skin. So considering they have my profile and they know my skin type, it's very interesting to see my choices are like polar opposites. So it's needless to say, I am definitely way more excited about the First Aid Beauty product but I feel like they had some very interesting choices for this month. Now for the fun part, it's going to be the items that I was able to customize. So on the second of each month, you are able to log on to the Ipsy app or website and choose three of your items. Now the items I have for my choice might not be the same as yours, but for choice number one, I was able to choose from a leave-in conditioning spray, a clarifying serum, a skin on skin BC foundation and lights, a brow sculpting wax pencil and styler, a pressed powder in pale yellow, or a super glow pink clay mask. Now for this choice, I will be honest and say there were a couple of items that I was interested in. I was initially interested in the Bobbi Brown powder, but it, the pale yellow shade kind of threw me off a little bit. I was worried it wouldn't work for my skin tone. I watched someone else's video, it turned out it would have ended up working out for me, but I decided to go with a for sure item that I knew I loved, and this is from Yensa. It is their Skin on Skin BC Foundation in Light. So this is a BB and CC cream, full coverage, SPF 40 in it, which is absolutely amazing. 
and this stuff works very well. I have had a sample size of this from Ipsy. Absolutely loved it. I've always wanted a full size but never bought it because it's around $40. So I'm very happy to see this as an item. Does very well. Very nice full coverage at that too. And the SPF 40 definitely helps. I use this a lot when I go to the beach or I know I'm going to be outside for a while because it really does act like a sunscreen and it keeps your face from getting sunburnt, which is absolutely amazing. So I highly recommend this item. Number two, I could have gotten a day cream, a foaming daily cleanser, a setting spray, a lactic acid solution, some patches, or a blush duo. And I was initially interested in the lactic acid just because it was something different or the patches. But the lactic acid was significantly more expensive than the patches, so I did decide to go with the lactic acid. So this is from Clarity RX. It's their Brighten It 10% Lactic Acid Solution. Comes in a nice glass bottle. So it says it's going to gently exfoliate and brighten your skin. It's two fluid ounces. It says apply sparingly to clean skin with a cotton ball twice weekly in the evening only. A slight tingling sensation is to be expected after application. They do recommend that you use a moisturizer after this and apply SPF as well. But this is just something totally different. You don't see an item like this too often in boxes, or at least I don't see it too often in boxes. So I was really excited to give it a try. But then last but not least for choice number three, I had a few different items to choose from and they were either a lip balm from Fenty Beauty, a lip liner duo, a brow defining pencil, a blush palette, a brush trio set, or a dragon duo. It looks like it was going to be some eyeliners. And I will say for this category, I wasn't really super blown away by anything. I decided to go with the Fenty Beauty lip balm because I feel like that was a good brand and I wanted to give a lip balm a try. So this is the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm in Latte Lips. And I felt like it was gonna be like a nice neutral shade as well, which is a huge plus for me. Very nice packaging. I like the Fenty Beauty packaging. Let's see what this looks like. It does have a doe foot applicator. And then here is the shade. So I will say the shade is very pretty. Just by looking at this though, I do not get lip balm vibes from this. This is definitely sticky. As far as I'm concerned, this is more like a gloss which I am definitely not as excited about just because I'm not a huge fan of like this sticky lip feeling. So if I knew it was going to be like this, I maybe would have chose something different. But again, I wasn't super blown away by anything in this category. So hopefully I will get some use out of this because it is a very pretty shade. But that is going to bring me to the end of this unboxing. And overall, I will say this was a fairly decent box for the month of February. I'm definitely most excited about the foundation and then also the first aid beauty item. But I would love to know your thoughts, so please comment down below. And let me show this box. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.